Oh hey, I didn't know the camera is already rolling So I was just checking off my new year's resolution One of which is to make my channel more educational and helpful Today we are not cooking or trying on any outfits Instead, we are going to learn how to edit videos And there is my cat pudding here Hi pudding, come say hi She's very shy and she's very uh, Yeah, she's a shy cat Pudding, come say hi yeah. Hi Pudding! Hi. Okay, we'll let Pudding go and do her stuff. So as I was saying, today I am going to share with you my editing workflow. Everything from importing your footages to exporting your video. So let's jump right into it. Psst. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? Make sure you subscribe now. I started my YouTube journey about a year ago. At that time, I was exploring my software options and I concluded that there were three most popular options for me Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve All three options are great and so I made my decision based on the economics of things which is to pick the cheapest one and voila! DaVinci Resolve is free All you have to do is to download this from the App Store and boom! You had taken your first step to becoming the next viral YouTuber and since DaVinci Resolve is what I have been using, this tutorial will be based on DaVinci Resolve 17. Once you open DaVinci Resolve, you click here to create a new project. Don't worry if you feel overwhelmed with all these buttons on the screen. They are your friends and you will be comfortable with them in no time. Let's first take a look at the basics and head over to the bottom panel here. The first tab here is the media tab where you manage your video footages. Then you will have the cut tab here. This is where you can do a quick edit with your timeline. Both of these I don't work with so much yet. Now this tab here is the edit tab where I spend the most time on editing my footages, audios, and adding subtitles. We will discuss more in detail later. Then you have Fusion here where things start to get more advanced and you can create some fun special effects such as using green screens and write on text effects. The color tab here is for color grading where you adjust the color of the footages, kind of like putting on makeup for your video. This is Fairlight which focuses on audio editing and this is where I add my voiceover. At last, the Deliver tab is where you render and export your video. Alright, let's assume that you have finished filming your footages and you are about to start editing your video. Where do you start? Well, we'll start with importing the videos from your SD card onto the media pool. You can either select the files and drag them into the media pool, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command I. Now, you have the footages to create your rough cut. What I usually do is Command A to select all the footages and drag them onto the timeline and arrange them in the order I have in mind. The thing about creating your timeline is that it is all about storytelling. You can arrange the story however you like. Let's take a closer look at the timeline area here. You have the video link here and the audio link there. If you are adding subtitles, you will see another link on top here. To generate subtitles, you head over to Effect Library. Go to Titles, scroll all the way down, and you will find Subtitle. Drag and drop this onto the timeline, and you will see it right here. I will link a tutorial on how to add subtitles in the description. To do more with the clip, you can select on the clip and click on Inspector here. This is where you can zoom in and rotate the footage. You can also do the same for audio, such as increasing the volume. Let's talk a bit more about the effect library because there are tons of fun effects that you can do. For example, when you zoom out on the image, you will see this black background here. You can't really change the color of this background, Here's what you need to do. You go to the Effect Library tab, look for Generator, and drag the solid color to below the clip that you want to have background for. If it is above the clip, it will block the video. Now, you use the color wheel to pick your background color. 
or use this pen here to extract the color that you like. There are tons of effects that you can explore in the effects library and I would suggest you to play around and find the effects that you like. Fusion is where you can add your green screens. I am still a beginner at this so let me show you a few effects that I use. You see these cute little animations here? These are all generated from green screen that I found on YouTube. I usually search for things like aesthetic overlay to, and find the ones that I like. A note about using green screen, you need to make sure that they are copyright free. Otherwise, your video may be flagged for copyright infringement or you can't monetize a video in the future. To use the green screen, you drag and drop it onto the timeline. Select the clip and click into Fusion and hit shift space on your keyboard. You will see a list of tools and now you search for Keyer. I usually go with Delta Keyer and click add. You drag the pen here to the green screen and let go. The green background is now removed. If you go back to the edit tab now, you will see that your green screen overlay is on your video. Once I have my timeline organized, I start my color grading process. I work mostly on color wheels over here. You can adjust your level of saturation, temperature, and so on. To add a filter to your video, you can find a list of LUTs on the upper left corner and choose the LUT that you like. You can also find some more free LUTs online. I get mine from freshluts.com. At this stage, I'm near the end of editing my video. Now I want to add some music to spice things up. I get my music from two sources, Thematic and YouTube. I have an annual membership on Thematic for about $5 a month. There are a lot of songs to choose from. Other times, I will search for copyright-free songs on YouTube. One of my favorite creators is Lu Kumbu. Shout out to him for giving high quality and free songs for YouTube creators. To add the song onto your video, you just need to drag the downloaded music file onto the audio lane. You can record your voiceover directly on DaVinci Resolve. Head over to Fairlight, double-click on the track section to add a mono track. Then you want to head over to Mixer and click into Input. Now select your audio source and the track that you have just created. Patch them together. Once patched, you are ready to create your voiceover by clicking R and press Record. And here we are, after tricking and refining your timeline, you are ready to render your video. There are some preset settings on the top for you to render your video. But if you have subtitles, you will need to customize the rendering format. So first, you create the file name and select your location. This is my preferred setting here. Now you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see subtitle setting. You can either render the subtitle as a separate file, which is convenient for when you want to generate YouTube subtitles, or you can select burn into video. This will allow the subtitles to show directly on the video. At last, you add this to your render queue and render your video. So that's my editing workflow. To summarize, um, I start with importing my videos, then I create my timeline, and then I add my special effects and subtitles, and color grading, and adding music and voiceover. I know it sounds like a lot, and it can be, but the process of creation is worth it and it's fun. If you're thinking about creating your YouTube channel, I hope that this video has motivated you or guided you to start. And if you have any questions regarding how to how I edit certain parts of my video, comment down below and I'll be sure to answer you in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.